it's the hubs from Lisa's Halls. Just want to show you a little bit of the progress that we're moving here. Kind of going to do some videos about it. This is a, a house tour uh, in the process of packing. So that looks fairly normal there, except as you see, there's really not much on the walls and things. We've got all that taken down. So all the bigger items uh, are still around. All the drawers are all emptied. Of course, the computer that I work on. Back to the deck. Here is the pile of boxes um, that we've done so far. There's a bunch of them, about all three or four deep. And you might recognize that shot there as uh, where the Thursday Thursdays usually happen, which is, is why this uh, last a month or so we haven't really been doing it because the bar is against the wall. More boxes and things packed there, of course. So, yeah, U Haul boxes, those are really nice. Uh, not the cheapest thing in the world, but uh, we need more boxes. So, you can see I go up there, and you know, there's a lot of stuff in here. I also have some totes out on the, the uh, deck there that are in plastic totes that can, won't hurt me outside. Yeah, a lot of work. So, as you can see again, there's really not anything on the walls. I'm trying to go slow here so I don't give you a, you're all dizzy. And the rest of the house is in disarray, of course, also. Uh, there's her little hutch there that usually has all kinds of pictures and and candles and everything. A little sofa table, she calls it. So, yeah. Excuse our mess as we've got everything in disarray. One picture on the wall yet. Over there. There might be a few somewhere else, but over there. And... Kitchen wise, it doesn't look like there's as much done because we had to save some out. But cupboards are empty as far as stuff that we can do without until we move. Uh, got the food items to pack up yet, but we're leaving those, of course. Yeah, quick shot of the bathroom, which will probably kill me for this because it's. I just got done making a mess out of that by picking everything up. We got everything out of there, everywhere. Um, this closet here was one of her craft closets. As you can see, there's a big shelving area there that she had inside that closet. That is pretty much emptied out and boxed up. And this part here, at least, has been working on. But this is a lot of her craft area here. More of those big stands that you normally see in garages full of all her craft items. I am told not to touch those. I would have them packed up already, but um, I, it's off limits. So I guess that's on her. When she's ready to pack them, she'll let me know. I guess she's still going to craft and just doesn't want everything just thrown everywhere. There's one of those wall hangers. And the window that she looks out all the time. You guys are usually looking from the opposite way. And she's been crafting, of course, so it's got stuff all over it. And uh, so that's just a, a brief uh, little tour here. Um, just wanted to kind of take you all along so you can kind of see the move a little bit. We're getting excited. Uh, next week is the big move day. So we're looking forward to it. And uh, bring you back where I left off. There's some more boxes. I think uh, Ali overbought too many boxes, but I think we will need them for her craft stuff. So maybe I didn't. But you can return. The good thing about the boxes is if you're ever moving, you get U-Haul ones. You can return whatever you don't use uh, as long as you have the receipt. So, anyway, thank you everybody. Just remember to be good to yourself so you can be good to others. And uh, hope you're having a wonderful, blessed Sunday. And uh, we'll be back at you with, with more videos uh, once we get in a new place uh, with Thursday Thursdays and, and that kind of thing. So, uh, and remember to uh, remember your snail mail, of course. And above all else, what does she always say? Be good.